Hello, welcome back to Pure Data tutorial. And after installing Pure Data on the machine and getting familiar with placing the first objects, I want to do a quick session on some P pain, like some functions and things. They're a bit bulky and a bit uh, struggling, maybe at first. But if you know them and if you know some workarounds, it's really, really handy to work with Pure Data and to start coding. So we opened this pure data and we created a new patcher. It was command N. And we have edit mode and live mode. We can toggle between with command E. Edit mode edits the patch, live mode executes the patch. So let's say we want to create a message. And it's called hello. We want to create a second message and it's called, of course, world. So Hello world with one O. And we want to make a next message and it says uh, message because it's a message. Now uh, you see they start not to align very nicely and um, this can get very messy very fast. You can always click and rearrange. And for example, if you want more, you always have the opportunity to copy paste. So select all of them, hit command C, command V, and now they appear right there. So the important thing is copy and paste and then instantly use your arrow keys to move them around and place them where you want. And if you have shift and the arrow keys, then you can do bigger jumps. So one important thing is select, copy, paste, instantly move around where you want, and leave them there. So now we have a lot of messages and we put a new object. We want to print them out. Normally you have to drag and drop, drag, oh, that's wrong, drag and drop. And this is the total pane of your data to drag all those lines. But what you can do is just select all of them and connect all the outlets with one object at the same time. If you did it wrong, hit command C and then it's just reverted. And now with the latest pure data, you can revert actually as many of the instances you did. So back selecting all, connecting all to print. This is very, very helpful. It saves you a lot of time. Command E, live mode, then you can happily clicking around and this also works vice versa, like connecting several outlets, it's called, to one inlet, for example. Another very uh, important thing is to know that you're working on a canvas, on a screen, and the process of code always um, happens um, in, in a certain order. So nothing is uh, executed simultaneously, it's always one step after another. PD does this by executing from bottom right to top left. Normally you don't really have to worry about that, but in some cases this can be very uh, yeah, <laughs> a little problem and I'll show you why. PD remembers the um, yeah this when you put an object and when you connect them. So let's show we make a message. It's called one and a message it's called two and a message it's called uh, wrong three and we connect them to print and we do it one two uh, wrong I can do this hey <laughs> one two three so and PD has another very important concept of executing thing it's called the bang the bang is just an information, please start now, or please do now, or please start processing now. And it's by einfügen or put in a bang button. And this button will execute something. You remember, going to live mode, I can print out those numbers. And the order, of course, is yeah, <laughs> which one I click first. Now I want to uh, print out them automatically, so I use the button and button you remember the bang will say do it so we connect to one and two 
and three because that's what I want to put out. Hit Command E and go for it, and we see one, two, three. We clear that window again. One, two, three. Now we copy paste the whole code. Put it on the right. Erase some of the lines, and maybe I connect this three and to one because it it just happened. I preferred it, and I clean out the window again, and we go to live mode, and now we click the exactly same looking code, and it happens. One two three, and on the right side it happens three two one, because Pure Data remembered I firstly connect this code, and then this, and then this. But as a user or a programmer, I never have the chance to see this again. So this is the most important thing in pure data coding, keeping track of the order of processing. And there are ways to just easily um, get track of it, because even with a small snippet of code, you can't remember which chord you dragged, when and where. But uh, for the execution order, it is very, very important. So please, for the uh, start, keep in mind, you connect by dragging, but it is very important when you did this and which one first.